Hi everyone. Today we shall discuss what is meant by amplitude modulation. Before going into the video, subscribe our channel Knowledge Academy. So now we shall enter into the video. So before knowing about amplitude modulation, we must know what is meant by modulation. Modulation is the process of changing the parameters of carrier signal with respect to the message signal. So why should we change the parameters of carrier signal? Because our aim is to transfer the message signal from one place to another, from source to destination. But message signal is not strong enough to carry itself to the destination. So we require the support of another signal. That another signal is carrier signal. So this process is called as modulation. So we need to change the parameters of carrier signal in order to uh, make the carrier signal to carry the message signal to the destination. This process is called as modulation. And what are the parameters we can change in carrier signal? We can change the amplitude of the carrier signal with respect to message signal. That is amplitude modulation. We can change the frequency of the carrier signal with respect to message signal, which is called as frequency modulation. We can change the phase of the carrier signal with respect to message signal, which is called as phase modulation. So now we shall discuss about amplitude modulation. Now, in this slide, we are considering a message signal. So, this message signal has an amplitude of Vm and it has a frequency of omega m. It is a sinusoidal waveform. So, the general procedure to represent a sinusoidal waveform in equation format is its amplitude into sine of the frequency. So here we know for this message signal the amplitude is Vm and the frequency is omega m. The amplitude is Vm and the frequency is omega m. So with this we are representing this in equation form Vm of t is equal to Vm into sine omega m t. Here we have Vm of t is equal to Vm into sin omega mt. Again, we shall take the carrier signal. Here, this is the carrier signal. And this carrier signal also has an amplitude Vc and the frequency omega c. So, with this knowledge, we can represent this signal also in equation form. So here is the representation of carrier signal in equation form. Amplitude Vc into sine of frequency omega ct. Now we are making these two signals, the message signal and carrier signal to enter into an amplitude modulator and in the output we are getting a signal similar to this. We need to find the amplitude and frequency of this signal to represent this signal also in waveform, in equation form. When we take this signal, it has an amplitude of equivalent to carrier signal from this point to this point, that is Vc. But after this point, the amplitude is not constant, it is varying sin sinusoidally 
similar to the shape of message signal. So here it doesn't have a constant amplitude. So its amplitude becomes the sum of carrier signal, sum of the amplitude of the carrier signal and the message signal itself. Not the amplitude of message signal, the message signal itself because the amplitude itself is varying sinusoidally with respect to the message signal. So here is the representation of amplitude, frequency and the equation of uh, amplitude modulated uh, signal. The amplitude is Vc plus the message signal itself Vm of t. So Vc plus Vm of t becomes Vc plus Vm into sin omega m t. And frequency is same as that of the carrier signal omega c. With this knowledge, we can represent this signal in equation form as I already told you the general procedure is amplitude into sine of frequency. Here we have the amplitude as Vc plus Vm into sine omega mt into sine of frequency omega ct. So this is the equation of amplitude modulated signal. With this knowledge, we shall proceed further to analyze this equation. So we have already derived the amplitude modulated signal as Vam of t is equal to Vc plus Vm into sine omega m t into sine of omega ct. We shall take Vc outside. So it becomes Vc into open bracket 1 plus Vm by Vc into sine of omega mt close bracket the whole into sine omega ct. Now this part Vm by Vc it has a uh, significant role to play in this amplitude modulation and this term is called as modulation index and it is represented as Ma. ma is equal to vm divided by vc so this equation becomes vc into 1 plus ma into sine omega mt the whole into sine of omega ct again we shall multiply vc and sine omega ct inside so it becomes vc into sine omega ct plus ma into vc into sine omega mt into sine omega ct so this is of the form sine a into sin B. So sin A sin B is equal to cos of A minus B minus cos of A plus B the whole divided by 2. Since we have A minus B we shall take the larger value as A and the smaller value as B. Here the larger value is sin omega C. Omega C is larger than omega M. So we shall take sin omega ct as sin a and sin omega mt as sin b. So we will be getting cos of omega c minus omega mt minus cos of omega c plus omega mt the whole divided by 2 and it is multiplied by ma vc. So the final equation becomes vc into sin omega ct as it comes from the previous equation and further terms become ma into vc divided by 2 into cos of omega c minus omega m into t minus ma into vc by 2 into cos of omega c plus omega m into t. Further we can analyze this equation. So this is the final equation of amplitude modulated signal. We can analyze, we can take our necessary information from uh, this signal, from this equation. The first term Vc into sin omega ct is nothing but the carrier signal itself. The second term it occurs at the point omega c minus omega m at the frequency omega c minus omega m and it has an amplitude of ma into Vc by 2. 
We call this as lower side band since it occurs at omega c minus omega m. And the third term, it occurs at the point omega c plus omega m at the frequency omega c plus omega m. It also has the amplitude of ma into vc by 2. We call this as upper side band. So amplitude modulated signal has three components. One is carrier signal itself and um, the second term is the lower side band and the third term is upper side band. In the upper side band there is a negative sign which indicates there is a phase shift of 180 degree. Further from modulation index we can get a lot of information like degree of modulation and uh, we can calculate the power of amplitude modulated signal using this equation which will be discussed in the upcoming videos and uh, the topic of uh, the discussion on the same topic is available in Tamil language also if you like the video comment share like rate and subscribe thank you for watching thank you